Hi, my name is Leonard De La Cruz. I'm the Director of Infection Prevention and Control at Huntington Hospital. There is a lot of concern about coronavirus. It is understandable because we do not know a lot about coronavirus. Uh, it is important to note, though, that there are there is a lot of information that we've already gathered. So we have to focus on what we know rather than what we do not know. Let me just clarify that the novel strain of coronavirus is different from the normal coronaviruses that we see on a seasonal basis. There are actually four human coronaviruses that we see during the flu and cold season. The flu virus comes from a different family than the coronaviruses. However, they're both what we call envelope viruses. Envelope viruses are easy to kill with common disinfectants and alcohol. So feel free to sanitize your hands with alcohol. The biggest difference between the flu and the coronavirus is that we have a vaccine available for the flu. So it's important to get vaccinated for the flu. The coronavirus, however, does not have a vaccine available. The best information that we have on coronavirus is the investigations of the 2003 outbreak of SARS coronavirus. During this outbreak of SARS coronavirus, we found that the coronavirus is transmitted via droplet. A droplet basically is a fluid formed through coughing or sneezing. These droplets travel to about six feet, then drop to the ground. Knowing that information, the best way to prevent an infection from the coronavirus is to stay away from sick people. Also, if you are sick, stay home. If you are around sick people, or if you have to take care of sick family members, wash your hands often. Do not touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth without washing your hands, and cover your cough and sneeze. There are two things to consider. Number one, there is a high demand for masks globally and resources are limited. Number two, masks can help prevent infections, but it is not the best way to prevent infections. Here in the US, unless you are in close contact with a person with coronavirus, the risk of contracting coronavirus is very low. The best way to prevent infections is to practice good hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene instead of wearing a mask. From what we know currently, the signs and symptoms of coronavirus infection are fever, cough, or shortness of breath. If you think you have coronavirus and you have traveled to areas affected by the current outbreak, please contact the health department. If you need to go to an emergency department, please contact the emergency department beforehand. The data and information regarding coronavirus are always changing. It is important to get updated with factual information. You have resources through the CDC, the World Health Organization, or your local health department. A pandemic is basically an epidemic that is occurring worldwide. Here in the U.S., health agencies and hospitals nationwide prepare routinely for disasters.